Hello everyone, it's me Sanjay Vasu back again for another video. This time I'll be doing it on Cambridge Primary Checkpoint for Science Paper 2, April 2023. In this video, I'll be doing questions 6 to 10 from this paper. Let's start. Question 6. Look at the table of information about substances. There are seven different substances given and each of them have different th electrical, thermal, melting point and dissolving in water. Metals are substances that have these properties. High electrical conductivity and high thermal conductivity. A. Which substances in the table are metals? So whichever substances have both of these columns, high, are metals. So that's A, C, D, and F. A, C, D, F. That's our answer. Part B. Blessy sorts the substances into two groups. Group 1 contains B, C, and E. Group 2 contains A, D, F, and G. Explain how Blessy sorts the substances into these two groups. Alright, so if group 1 contains B, C, and E, it contains these three. And in these, which are the common factors? For all three of these, the melting point is quite low, or it's below human body temperature. But then for the group 2, it's A, D, F, and G, which all have very high melting points, as you can see. So, group 1 is low melting point, And group 2 is simply high melting point. That's the answer. Let's go to question 7. Mike does two different investigations using light rays. A. Describe what happens to a light ray in investigation A. Complete the sentences. In investigation A, the light ray changes dash. Well, you can see that the light ray slightly changes direction. It's not a straight line. So, it changes direction. And this is called a refraction. That's the change in the direction of light as it passes from one medium to another. In this case, it's from air to water. We can see that the light travels through air until this point where it touches the water surface and then it refracts, bends and then goes through a new medium which is water. B. Describe what happens to a light ray in investigation B. Complete the sentences. In investigation B, the light ray changes dash. Well, for investigation B, it also changes direction as you can clearly see. And this is called not refraction but reflection because it is reflected off a mirror. It's not changing a medium. It's in the same medium, but then it's just reflected off a reflective surface like a mirror. Part C. Mike removes the water from the container investigation A. Describe what happens to the light ray. Well, if the water is not in the container, that means the light ray does not have a second medium to pass through, so it continues straight. The light ray... continues straight. That's our answer. Let's go to question 8. Lily draws a diagram of the rock cycle. A. Circle process A. Well, process A is changing igneous rock to sediments. And we can see that these sediments are tiny particles of rock. Therefore, this is called erosion. Because rocks corrode and erode to make these tiny particles, which are made of the same rock. B. Circle process B. This is the changing of metamorphic rock into magma. And that's simply melting. Because when we melt a rock, it turns into magma. That's quite straightforward. If you look at the other three options as well, it cannot be cooling, because cooling would, does not change the state. Erosion also does not change the shape, it just changes the size of the particle. And solidification, that's the opposite of what's happening here. In this case, the rock is becoming a liquid, it's not becoming a solid. So yeah, the answer is melting. Let's go to part C. Describe the processes of sedimentation and metamorphism. So sedimentation, this is the process by which rocks break into small pieces and deposit and 
these rocks are simply usually igneous and sometimes metamorphic rocks. So they break into small pieces and deposit underground. And now as for metamorphism, that's simply applying pressure and heat to change igneous and sedimentary rocks into metamorphic rocks. Question 9. Some fungi cause diseases in the body. A. Name one other type of living thing that causes diseases in the body. Of course, the most obvious is viruses, but the one which is more common is bacteria. B. Mucus is a defense mechanism against infectious diseases. Which organ system of the body contains mucus? Well, mucus is secreted by the nose so that it can trap dust particles or any infectious particles, for example, infectious bacteria which cause diseases. So, the organ system which it performs on is the respiratory system. That's our answer. Let's go to question 10. Boiling and evaporation are two physical changes. A. Name the process that is the reverse of evaporation. Well, the reverse of evaporation is simply condensation. And if evaporation is changing of a liquid into a gas, concentration is the other way around, gas to liquid. B. Why don't one similarity between boiling and evaporation? Well, this is quite obvious. Since boiling and evaporation both involve changing a liquid into a gas. See why are two differences between boiling and evaporation? Well, the first difference is that boiling can occur only at a specific temperature, but evaporation can occur at many temperatures or a range of temperatures. So boiling occurs at a specific temperature while evaporation, I write as evap for short since I need space, occurs at a range of temperatures. But let's go to the second point anyway. The second point may not be the most obvious, but then there's the most applicable one. Evaporation only occurs at the surface. Only occurs at the surface. While boiling occurs throughout the liquid. This is one of the main characteristics of boiling. Oh, sorry. Boiling, not boiling. So this is one of the main characteristics of boiling. And this is a defining factor of the differences between evaporation and boiling. So that's our answer. And with that, I come to the end of the paper. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel, share this video with your friends and family, and comment on how you think this video was. With that, it's me, Sanjay Vasu, signing out. Thank you. Bye.